The Nanticoke are also very proud of their annual homecoming. Indians from other tribes and visitors from other communities share in this celebration. Our annual homecoming, it, just the name alone, implies what it's all about. Uh, in the daily world, a lot of times people can get involved in television or other modern day conveniences, and, and a lot of times uh, you can get a, a, a gap can grow between the, the old people of the tribe and the younger members of the tribe. Homecoming is a chance to bring both groups together. It's a chance for people to, 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 to talk to the older folks and under a, a social situation where it's expected that communication is going to flow between the two. It is also a time when the people in our community who have left the area, and it's a time for them to come home to see old friends and to renew family ties and tribal ties. Uh, homecoming's been around, it's, it's been around since the early part of this century. And it's always been held uh, at the same, on the same weekend. It's always been, a, it's, it's another one of our customs and traditions. In earlier days, it was not nearly as widely attended as it is today, and it might not have been as formalized. But today, it's, it's a very structured event. Um, during homecoming, we have the, the church services, and then we have a huge uh, feast outdoors. The way homecoming evolved into a, a feast is that during the times prior to 1960, the prejudice, the social bigotry that existed at the time would make it very difficult for some of our members who lived in, in Philadelphia or parts of New Jersey to come down to Lower Delaware. And the reason for this is that many restaurants and public eating places will not allow Indian people to, to, uh, to eat in their restaurants or to, or to sit indoors. We knew that some of our people were traveling three to four hours one way to come down to our homecoming. So it soon evolved into a way of they would come down, we would have our, our communal spiritual worship, and then they would have some food. We would give them enough food to fill their bellies so by the time they returned home, they wouldn't be hungry. And even though the times have changed and now we can find McDonald's up and down the route, we still keep this. It's one of our traditions, one of our customs. It, it, it reminds us of the struggle the Anacoke people have had to go through. It reminds us of, of what happened just 20 years ago. And if we, we, if we forget what happened, we run the jeopardy of it coming up again. And this is the whole importance of homecoming. I think it's realistic to say that the future of the Nanticoke people will hold many struggles. But this is something that has always been the case for the Nanticoke people and for other Native American tribes. On a daily basis, we are faced with all sorts of struggles. Uh, many times, the inroads of, of civilization cross over the, Na the Native American people. And this is very true for the Nanticoke tribe as well. But without being too optimistic, I also think that uh, the future holds a bright promise for the tribe. And this is directly because of what we have put into our daily life and into our desire and, and, and uh, ongoing drive to preserve our heritage. I think it's important, too, for our children to realize that there is a struggle going on around them. If they're not aware of that, then they'll lose the battle without even having the opportunity to, to get into the fight. Our children are our, our greatest resource, our, our best asset. The Nanticoke children are similar to seeds, <clears throat> seeds that we ourselves have sown. And we have to nurture those seeds. We have the responsibility of caring for them and raising them to maturity. We warm these seeds with the, uh, our heritage, with the warmth of our heritage. We nurture them further with the tears that we have cried over the, lo the losing of our, some of our identity and, and some of our characteristics. But I, I do believe that the future will hold a bright promise if Nanticoke children 
and the elders also, never lose the desire to hold on to our, our way of life and our, our beliefs. This is the most important thing to us. It always has been, and I don't, I don't foresee it ever changing.